Hello security gurus, welcome to this new lecture. In this lecture, we are going to install Argo CD on Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let's jump into the action. I am on the overview page of Azure Kubernetes cluster that we created in the previous lectures. The cluster name is Demo Kubernetes Cluster. As you can see, it has been created using Azure Kubernetes service. Let's connect with Kubernetes cluster. Let's use this connect button to connect with Kubernetes cluster. As you are able to see, there are three options to connect with Kubernetes cluster. First is Cloud Shell. Second is Azure CLI, where we can install Azure CLI and kubectl on our local system. And then we can use these commands to connect with Kubernetes cluster. And third is using run command, where we can use Azure API to invoke commands like kubectl commands and Helm commands. But for the ease, we are going to use Cloud Shell to connect with Azure Kubernetes cluster. Let's click on Open Cloud Shell option. As you can see, a new Cloud Shell is being created. In case you are creating a new Cloud Shell for the first time, it might ask you to create an Azure storage as well. So you need to say yes and create Azure storage. And then you will be able to see these commands running. As you can see, our subscription has been automatically set. So we do not need to run these commands, which are setting the cluster subscription because it has been automatically set for us. Similarly, we do not need to download cluster credentials because those have been also retrieved automatically by us. It means we can directly run our kubectl commands. Let me zoom in so that you can view the screen better. I'll zoom in. I hope you are able to view the screen better now. I'll scroll down. And let's run a simple kubectl command, which is get pods and hit enter. As you can see, currently there are no pods running. Hence, there are no resources found. So let's see the steps that we need to follow in order to install Argo CD on Azure Kubernetes cluster. I'll switch to the steps. I'll zoom in. So these are the steps to install Argo CD on Kubernetes cluster. The first step is to create a namespace Argo CD using this command. This command will create a namespace with the name Argo CD. So let's copy this command. Let's switch back to Kubernetes cluster. Let's paste the command here and hit enter. As you can see, namespace Argo CD has been created successfully. Let's see the next step, which is to install Argo CD in the Argo CD namespace that we created in the previous step. To install Argo CD, we need to run this command where we are applying this YAML file to create Argo CD related resources in Argo CD namespace. So let's copy this command. Let's switch back. Let's paste the command here and hit enter. And you can see that resources are being created. These are all the required resources by Argo CD. Let's wait for a few seconds while Argo CD resources are getting created. All these resources will be created in Argo CD namespace. So all the resources have been created successfully. The next step is to verify the resources that we have created in the previous step. In this command, we are getting all the resources that have been created in Argo CD namespace. So let's copy it. Let's paste it in the cloud shell and hit enter. And you can see that all the sources have been created. We have pods that are running. Then we have the Argo CD services. Then we have the deployments and the replica sets that have been created. And these are the apps that have been created. 
created. Some of the apps are still being deployed. That's why you see ready as zero. So it might take some time for these apps to be ready. Let's fetch these resources again to see if the apps are ready or not now. Let's hit enter. And you can see the difference that the app is now ready. Previously, you could see that the application was not ready. But when we fetched all the resources after a few seconds, you can see that all the resources are now ready. Let's move to the next step, which is creating a load balancer to access Argo CD over internet in a browser. We will use this command to create a load balancer for Argo CD server, we will be creating a service of type load balancer for Argo CD server in the namespace Argo CD. Let's copy this command and let's paste it in Cloud Shell. Let's hit enter and you can see that service has been passed. In the next command, we are going to get the load balancer public IP address and the port of Argo CD. We are going to use kubectl get svc which stands for service command in the namespace argo cd let's copy this command let's paste in cloud shell and hit enter and you can see that this is the load balancer that has been created the external ip address of this load balancer is 172.171 167.139 and the port on which it is exposed is 80 port. So let's copy this IP address. Let's open a new tab. Let's type HTTP colon forward slash. We are using HTTP and not HTTPS. The reason is that we are not using any SSL certificates. Hence, we are using HTTP protocol. Let's paste the IP address. Let's put colon and then type port 80 and hit enter. Let's click on advanced and click on proceed to 172.177.167.139. Let's click on this link. And voila, you can see that Argo CD has been successfully deployed and is accessible over internet. Now we need to enter the username and password to log into Argo CD. So let's see the next step, which is we need to use default username as admin and we need to get the initial password to log into Argo CD using below command. Let's understand what this command is doing. This command is getting the secret. The secret name is Argo CD initial admin secret from Argo CD namespace and the output will be in a JSON format. We are then fetching the data.password node of JSON format and this password is in base64 format. We are using base64 to decode this password and then we are printing it. So let's use this command and let's copy this command to get the Argo CD initial admin secret and decode that password which is in base64 and print it on screen. Let's switch back to our cloud shell. Let's switch back to the cloud shell tab and let's paste the command here and hit enter. And this is the Argo CD initial admin password. Let's copy it. Let's switch back to Argo CD. Let's type the username as admin and let's paste the password that we just copied and let's click on sign in. And finally, we are able to log into Argo CD dashboard. As of now, there are no applications that have been created in Argo CD. In the upcoming lectures, we are going to create applications within Argo CD. You have learned to install Argo CD on Kubernetes cluster in very simple six steps. All the steps will be available in the resources section of this lecture. In the upcoming lectures, we are going to implement an end-to-end -end DevSecOps pipeline using GitOps principles where our single source of truth will be GitHub repository and we will be using a pull based mechanism of Argo CD to deploy our resources on Kubernetes cluster. So this end to end DevSecOps slash DevOps pipeline will be using GitOps principles to 
perform the continuous integration and continuous deployment processes. It's going to be really interesting. It's going to be hands-on. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.